Have you ever wondered how all the chemical elements are made? Then join me as we are lifting all the Stardust secrets to understand the cosmic origin of the chemical elements. Why do stars shine? Why do we have sunlight every day? Well, it's because of nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is going on in the core of the sun. Hydrogen to helium gets converted there. And that gives the sun enough energy to sustain its luminosity for billions of years. How does this work? Let's have a look. Um, so we want to reproduce what is uh, going on in the sun. And what, what's basically happening is that four protons, which also are just four hydrogen atoms, um, come together in a series of steps that, that we're going to leave out for now. And they form a helium atom. And that's made from two protons and two neutrons. So we have some conversion of our protons here into neutrons. And so one helium. This actually um, works only because there is quantum mechanical tunneling going on. That's a really cool thing. Ordinarily, these positively charged protons would actually repel um, themselves. Uh, but in the sun, it's, it's, it's really quite hot. Uh, not quite hot enough for them to all fuse straight up. But because of this tunneling effect, it's hot enough, just hot enough, so that it, these protons can combine to eventually form a helium nucleus. Uh, this kind of tunneling effect is, is important for all subsequent fusion processes. Uh, namely, if we have another helium here, and another one, so we'll put all of those together, we're going to get a carbon nucleus. This is the carbon nucleus. <laughs> and um, if we're going to add another helium to that, we're going to get oxygen. And if we add more um, so-called alpha particles, helium uh, nuclei often called alpha particles, then eventually we're going to get to, to iron. Now, how does this help us understanding why the sun shines? As it turns out, these, uh, light, well, these lightest nuclei here, they are less tightly bound than the big ones like iron. And uh, that means we're going to get a little bit more energy out of this than that. Now let's look at some details and then come back to this. So if we have, uh, if, we, if we're going to look at, you know, the constituents here for protons, which make up one helium nucleus, and then we know a helium nucleus weighs or is co consists of two neutrons and two protons. And if we weigh, if we make a little experiment and we weigh uh, uh, one helium nucleus and then we, we weigh two neutrons and two protons separately, we're going to find out that the helium nucleus actually weighs a little bit less than um, my initial constituents here. And actually it's 0.73% that our final helium nucleus here weighs less than um, these constituents. And that's really fantastic. So uh, this is called a mass defect. And uh, you've all seen um, the equation E equals mc squared, um, usually with a picture of Einstein attached. And this here, this is a little, uh, a little mass, a little mass difference. And if you stick that in here, you multiply it with the speed of light, c squared, uh, which is just the constant, so just the number, and you're going to get out energy. And that is the energy that the sun is using to shine every day. So this is the nuclear energy that stars um, uh, produce. Uh, now this amount of energy that gets out becomes successively less if you go to heavier and heavier nuclei. And if you were to try to fuse two iron atoms together, you're not going to get out anything. So iron atoms um, will not give you any, uh, any fusion energy with this here, because this is, this is zero. Actually, it, um, you, you would need to take, uh, you, need, you would need to put energy in if you wanted to fuse um, two iron atoms. 
So obviously the star is going to have a big problem because it doesn't want to, you know, put energy in. It wants to get energy out. Um, and that's why in the end the star ends up with an iron core. So this is an iron core here. This fusion processes have been going on in the center and uh, growing larger and larger as more and more elements are, are being made. And eventually it, there's a big fat iron core sitting, sitting there. And since it can't get any energy, any energy out anymore, the star has a big problem because it needs to have an energy source. And so with, without that, it explodes as a supernova.